What is up, Command Dodo? Today we're gonna to learn about how do I trade tokens on Dodo. So we're gonna to navigate to dodoex.io in our browser and we're gonna hit go to app. Alternatively, you can type in app.dodoex.io slash exchange. So on this page, you'll see the graph of whatever your trading pair is. And over here is where we will work a lot of the magic. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to make sure that our wallet is connected. If it is not, it should say connect to wallet here. You can simply click on this and then um, connect the wallet that you want to connect, whether it be Coinbase, whether that be MetaMask. After you've connected your wallet, please make sure you have enough Ether or Binance coins in your wallet to pay for gas network fees. So I've hopped over to a test network to show you guys how this will work when we actually trade the tokens. Um, everything that you do on your page should be exactly the same as what I'm doing here. Now, first we have to come down here and all we have to do is select the token pair you want to trade. For example, if I want to trade some of my Ether for some USD Tether, I'm gonna go down to the drop down menu and find each of these coins. Now, just remember the one on the top, which is pay, is the thing that you have. And then the one on the bottom that says receive is the one that you want. So let's say I wanna trade some of my Ether for some USD Tether. I'm gonna go ahead and either type in how much Ether I want to trade, or I can hit this max button. And it'll preview how much 2.8 Ether here will get me in USD Tether. Since this is a test network, it's not gonna be accurate to the real life data. Now, um, since again, this is a test network, this has deviation from market price is too high. We're gonna hit trade anyways. And here the pop-up says it has uh, the deviation of 5%. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. Your button should be yellow when you're trading. So none of this should really pop up. But now we our MetaMask wallet does come up and all we have to do is confirm the uh, transaction here. Awesome, so here it'll basically show you the confirmation for the swap. And oh, there it is, it just popped up. This is the transaction that we've just submitted and is just approved. You can see that it has been a success. There are some other settings we can play around. If we go up here to the cog on the top right, we can adjust slippage tolerance. If the liquidity changes and the price change rapidly and is outside your offer price, by the time your transaction is sent, slippage protection will be triggered and the transaction will fail. Thus the gas for this transaction will not be consumed. So it is recommended to set a higher slippage tolerance when gas price is relatively high and market prices are changing frequently. Here is it is on three by default, but you can type in a custom slippage tolerance, for example, 10. In addition, we can set the transaction deadline for this trade when the interval between the time a transaction is submitted and the time it is being confirmed on chain exceeds this transaction deadline, the transaction will not be executed. For example, if I put 20 minutes and the transaction takes 30 minutes to execute, then this transaction will simply not happen. Last but not least, we can also turn on expert mode. And expert mode just means when swapping tokens, traders may receive alert notifications when there are price deviations like we just had between the market price and the quoted price from Dodo's liquidity source. Um, these price deviation may be caused by low liquidity or delayed updates on the token's market price. When a token's price deviation exceeds 20%, traders will not be able to submit transactions for this token unless this expert mode is enabled. And when it is enabled, you get this little pop-up box. You click understand and agree to the terms and you can turn on expert mode and basically go back. The cog will turn into like a rainbow and you can basically make any trades that your heart desires. So that is it for this lesson on how to trade tokens on Dodo. Hope you guys have learned something and I will see you guys next time.